Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing video series videos I've been doing for the while. I go over there, travel food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. If I didn't review this now, I was just going to end up eating it. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. While I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. While I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And while I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? What happens to be my boom, 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 boom. My Forever Famicom shirt, Megaran and K. Murdoch. But who are Megaran and K. Murdoch? Uh, I mean, if you watch my show, chances are you already know, because I've talked about Megaran quite a bit. Uh, but Megaran is a nerdcore rapper. And if you don't know what nerdcore is, it's like a subgenre within like the rap and sort of hip-hop uh, style that you know tends to focus on nerdy stuff. Um, you know, be it anime, or in the case with Megaran, a lot of times video games. Um, but he also goes into a lot of other stuff, pro wrestling, uh, even sports. Uh, he's been a tremendously successful individual, and some of that success is, you know, been a result of his occasional collaborator, Mr. K. Murdoch, who is an awesome gentleman. They work together on this particular album, uh, Forever Famicom. I've been fortunate enough, I've got to meet both of them, I've got to see them perform live in concert. Um, they're extremely good dudes, and they're a blast, and their music is incredible. I actually have a whole bunch of videos of my grand performances that I've attended over the years. They're on the channel, just in case maybe you want to check them out. If nothing else, I'd be more than happy to kind of point you in the right direction, because, again, I just think they're an awesome band. Well, not an awesome band, but awesome artist. But anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? What are we doing here? Why was I about to eat it? Well, folks, that's because it happens to be, boom, it is from Circle K, which is a gas station brand. Uh, Winter Peppermint Crunch White Cream Bar. Ooh. It's a limited edition, and apparently I get a coupon. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I've reviewed plenty of stuff from Circle K, and, you know, sometimes they go over there and they do their own in-house stuff, you know, where they go over there and they come out with potentially neat items that are, you know, oftentimes limited edition, and I like peppermint, so... Let's get a thing for the thing here real quick. Well, how do we do it like this? Ha 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 And uh, let's find out what coupon I got, I guess. Okay. Coupon. I got one Circle K 2.15 ounce chocolate bar for $1 on my next visit. Okay, neat, I guess. I don't usually get their candy unless it's limited edition stuff, but hey, why the hell not? It looks like this. It smells pepperminty. I have a pretty good idea what this is going to taste like, but hey, man. All right. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of a surprise there. So, I mean, yeah, it's a white chocolate bar with some chunks of peppermint candy uh, stuck in it. That really is all there is to it. Um, the thing that kind of surprised me, though, typically, because there's been other companies and stuff that have basically done this exact thing. Typically, though not across the board, I guess. When they go over there and put the candy pieces inside the chocolate bar, they're fairly fine. You know, like, you still get a little extra crunch and stuff. But these, like, they're properly big chunks of, like, those peppermint candies. And what I'm talking about, you know, like, those little, uh, those little disc candies, you know, that we're all familiar with. Those little mints that, you know, they're red and white. Basically that. Um, and yeah, it just seems like they just broke apart some of those and shoved them in here. I mean, I don't think that's exactly it, because... They look like they're just the red parts. But yeah, like they're they're more uh, pronounced than I would have expected. Like you get like, you know, you're really kind of crunching into them. Mm. 
Which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your personal perspective. I like it, because it adds in another textural element, and it gives quite a bit of uh, peppermint flavor. I like mint, so... I can get down with these. It's nice. I will say, I will say, the peppermint pieces are basically on the upper limit of what I personally would be okay with as far as having the pieces in something like chocolate. Because although it does create sort of a textural contrast, Like, they're big enough to the extent where, like, you know, again, you're properly crunching into them. And for me personally, when I eat, you know, like a, a mint or something like that, you know, like a hard candy, I usually don't really bite into them until they're pretty much near the end of their run. So I'm not super used to just, like, properly crunching into a candy like that. But, again, it's on the, it's on the upper limits of what I'm cool with. But I'm still cool with it. I like it. Um, other than that, I mean, it tastes fine. Like, the white chocolate is, you know, decent tasting. It's, you know, nice and sweet and creamy. Um, and yeah, I mean, it plays well with the, you know, with the peppermint flavor. It doesn't really get in the way of it or anything. You know, it just kind of lets the peppermint shine. And then, you know, like I said, it, it, the, you know, the white chocolate being what it is, or, you know, whatever they want to call it, white cream or whatever the hell. Um, you know, it's a little bit more kind of neutral than, you know, like a darker chocolate, which would, you know, maybe go over there and interrupt some of that mint flavor. But no, it's nice. All right. Well, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, and number three, will I use the coupon? Sure. Yes. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'll, you know, here's the thing. Um, for me, I like it. I don't think it's anything remarkable. It's certainly something that I've had very similar instances of. I think, like, Giordelli or whatever the fuck they're called. I do not know. Like, the super fancy chocolates that come in the squares. I think they have their own version of this. Um, I could not tell you off the top of my head which one is better. It's been a while since I've had one of those. But, you know, this for being what it is, it does exactly what I need it to do. And, again, I think really the only, like, potential minor point of contention is just the, you know, how strong those pieces of the peppermint are inside. Like, that'll be the crux point for whether you like it or not, I feel. And for me, it is one of those things where it's like, I'm almost, it's almost over the limit. But, Ultimately, I like peppermint enough that uh, I'm personally down with it. And again, I kind of like it, you know, because it is a little bit unique compared to some of the others that I've had. Um, and if I'm recommending it, I mean, sure. You know, it is exactly what it says it is. It is not, you know, with again, with the exception of the, uh, the largeness of the pieces again, you know, there's really nothing to it that's going to throw you. You know, it's just white chocolate and peppermint. If you like those things and you like them together... This is going to do that exactly for you. It's nothing remarkable, but it's a nice thing, and it's a fun little limited edition thing, sure. And uh, as to whether or not I will use the coupon, I uh, maybe. I don't know. It's there. I guess it depends on the next time I go to a Circle K, if I still have it with me. It'll probably end up just getting tossed, if I'm honest with you, because I just I won't think about it. But, hey, free coupon anyway, I guess. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. My mentor rest of your month. Spend this rest of your year. Folks, go over there yourselves a truly peppermintastic rest of your life. Because peppermint is delicious. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. 
Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your personal take on peppermint? You know, it is, I, I think it's fair to say that it's widely considered to be a favorable thing. Um, you know, but every now and again, I do run into somebody who's not a fan. And that's fine. It doesn't make any sense to me because I've all, I've loved peppermint since I was a small child. It's like still one of the, my favorite things in the world. But... People are allowed to do their things and live their lives, or so I've been told by the courts on many numerous occasions. And, yeah, you know, they took away my mind control equipment and shit. I don't know. It's bullshit fascists. But anyway, bye!